check if it uh, is recording. Sorry, moment, please. Ah, I think so. Now, <clears throat> hi everybody, and welcome to this hmm, rather particular video with respect to what I usually do. Uh, we could also say that it's, this is this goes also as an EC, a short EC on on a certain topic, uh, which is well unusual with respect to I I have ever done so far, or you know, in the context of a video audio recording, uh, either in written form. But it's a topic which uh, I, I I've known for for well slowly slowly you're approaching fourteen years you're approaching a time and I can say I've been thinking of this I've known for ten years that uh, this kind of video or just description of it into EC maybe a bit reorganized but yeah had to do done and I had to do it however uncomfortable however really badly heavily uncomfortable I feel about it but I had to do it now it's I think it's a dull, dull Tuesday the weather is bad it's foggy, rainy, so on. I just didn't want to start off by the routine things I do. As a theoretical researcher, also practical, but uh, we'll come to that. And I decided to do this this video, which I say again goes also as an essay, which one can read. It's about. What's it like to be a researcher? What is it like? How is the life of a researcher uh, about which we now outline more precisely uh, assume in, in this case, in my case, to be a researcher uh, active, specialized and active in uh, theoretical exact sciences, in this case uh, algorithms, I'm an algorithmist primarily, software developer originally, but I'm an algorithmist. That's the uh, definition, which is the closest to to the real facts, um, and about which I feel comfortable when I say I'm an algorithmist. Uh, beyond some other things, I'm pretty fine with it. Uh, and uh, also a mathematician, I am uh, specialized and active in applied mathematics. Here already conflicts, conflicts start to, to pop up because uh, uh, usually people, <laughs> well, I don't know this, but uh, just how to start. Now, now we, are, we are going to start an EC. <sighs> I have to say now. So I'm, I'm an algorithmist, software de developer. I develop a complex softwares, mostly experimental ones, which are most of the times working just out of the box. Can be used as a, just tech demos, technology, the new technology demos can be used as video games, can be used just for one's amusement to, to get inspiration towards a subject can be used for illustrative purposes to illustrate a certain branch of algorithms, um, certain branches of applied mathematics or of software development itself and, uh, and so on. Mm. Now let's start easy. What is like being a researcher of, of this kind? Theoretical researcher, practical. Uh, the first problem is everybody 
we think and pretend that one is in fact a researcher but seeing what, what he has done through life in the last 10 years or so uh, is a researcher first thing they they think is is uh, so I identify that person with with the typical uh, route typical life course uh, study course uh, learning course learning story whatever that that person has but uh, the catalogization is is uh, just too much simplified I think usually there are people who have uh, been exceptionally great at, at school let's say from mm, compulsory school to high school they have been brilliant uh, they they got on uh, oh, so-called higher uh, studies at the university they they they, uh, they have a degree they have uh, all the highest course they And uh, they pretended that, that that's uh, that's accept that's 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 it, and uh, they're researchers because the they uh, the, this typical this prototypic life course has chose them to become researchers, huh? and uh, they they just do that. They do what they have they have studied for, or to what they have been led. Or the typical, their typical cultural environment, they will led to become and, and to come to do for the rest of their lives. Problem is uh, pretending that this be exact and actually correct. Well, the scenario for any researcher, the scenario that comes to mind to any researcher of a certain level who has contributed a lot is that the situation is just far more complex there are people who have been good good at school have have completed the university degree uh, maybe done specialized the courses on and have not ended up doing research in that field which they where they have contributed more or less uh, N n then now the importance of a thing is, is already more complicated to determine because it's something for uh, understanding something's importance one has to see its consequences also and they, it's it's difficult to we, we, we cannot assert that uh, consequences come out immediately or just application from something so some theoretical uh, the discovery of some theoretical tool or fact just leads immediately to lots of new applications. It's not necessarily so. Sometimes it's immediate, sometimes not. But what the main point here is that the researcher of a certain level, the higher the better for what I'm going to say, is uh, that the scenario that comes in mind is that the, that it's complex. There are people, there are people, there, there's the first category which I have outlined before. There's the second where yeah, yeah, they have been uh, good at school, so on, or even super brilliant, uh, seen by others. Uh, they, uh, okay, the high school have completed the university degree, whatever, and they ended up by complete chance doing research and making awesome discoveries in a field which is reasonably far away removed, uh, like. Okay, computer science degree, okay. But they have done significant research in an, at the time, odd and not very well known branch of algorithms. And, uh, and that's it, it's, we have, it's, it's four. And there is the, another category where there's, what well, the person does is just heavily removed from original uh, school orientation so to say then there are other things uh, there are people who have not been good at school there are people who have been less at school there are people who did not complete a university degree 
there are a lot of people who just we must be careful to analyze its situation on its own and this is the first step in first uh, feature of a, a good researcher just not underestimating the complexity of a certain field and a certain phenomenon and the variety of ways in which that phenomenon can uh, manifest itself and so on. We have lots of scenarios which since now I, I want to speak about this which for a, from the point of view of a really good good really researcher with the boss uh, just just cannot be catalogized here and there maybe just it even doesn't have to be catalogized because from the point of view of the discoveries and so it's, it's not relevant now the other thing uh, I will now show I will outline for example day routine of, of mine because not as if that that be any significant example it's one example but it's already one is more than zero and you can then if you dear public listening to this video you found interesting what I say what, what I outline you can go and read stories of other researchers a typical scenario just to introduce you is usually we don't we hear not much about the researchers just some of the people some of the people I uh, f on which on whose work on whose discoveries uh, whose findings and, and texts and so I, I I took inspiration from so uh, to, to do go on with my uh, researchers I just don't know about them as people just know how they started discovering it and just yes I knew in some cases they were working at this or that company or they were at this or that research center or what the hell but how they got there what the personal story was I know nothing they usually uh, are people who don't like to be really heard off uh, and so on well this is a common place uh, in with mathematicians usually that whatever the contribution uh, they your contribution uh, they really just don't like being really haired off showing off uh, so on well, I know. yeah am I contradicting myself because I'm also a mathematician I'm also active in that no because we are in we are now in another another epoch approach hmm? just we are in an epoch where research is in several crises there are lots of problems around there are lots of people who struggle just developing out their potentials because there is the crisis of the job market, because the job market and employment, uh, and the procedures usually followed uh, to employ people and decide who to employ. These are just weird. There are. Well, let's don't don't get into this. Many people struggle in in uh, having the possibility to develop out their potentials, even if they have the potential to theoretically would have the potential to become really uh, really st strong good researchers uh, active even in more than one field uh, and in each of these fields spanning at the same time a nice thick uh, area of things And that's why, because that's the situation 
I thought it's it's time to that someone starts explaining. Just just let's a bit hear about himself to the outside world and explain what is it. At least one person starts it off, and then maybe it may be over there or may inspire others to tell their stories. Uh, and uh, and these can can also be stories of failure. Which is, for example, my case. And um, in fact, one of the main things I want to talk about here, because really how to do research is how to do it in this field. It's difficult to give general guidelines. I want to give some, but it's it's for an honoris. I prefer doing it in return for some guidelines for becoming a very successful researcher. Just a true problem-solving bulldozers. That's another topic. It's better outlined than this one. Particularly. I just uh, one thing is to say how to deal with struggle when a person is uh, is very very affine in many of his uh, traits, in many of his characteristics. I mean, I don't know correct English word here. How to struggle with, with when, when just this person doesn't manage to really get out the best and, and to contribute as much as he potentially put, could have contributed to society with, with his abilities to do heavy theoretical uh, research uh, in applied uh, exact but theoretical sciences and so on and uh, how to struggle with uh, how to deal with unsuccess what uh, is it like but let's start let's divide this in two levels first level is how to struggle with others prejudices clearly wrong prejudices how to deal with the fact how to what how bad it can be, I, I can't, I don't know how to deal. I, I don't know, I, it's, everybody's different, is it recording? So, I can give functioning guidance, I can't tell my story, but just outline it. This is a problem for me. Because usually, many of these really, uh, persons who are eligible for becoming, uh, really, like, researchers, like, problem-solving bulldozers, like people who solve one problem after the other, like da 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 da, da like and when bullets come out of the tube of a rotating disc machine gun, <laughs> yeah, these people usually sometimes I hope them to them not to be, but sometimes these people are very sensitive people, and uh, some mis misunderstandings in society here and there, some unsuccess can can hurt them really badly, even if. They, Maybe they endure it. I endure too, but uh, I just fucking hurt sometimes. Because they are sensitive. Sensitiveness. It's not sensitive to, for example, the impression that there is some paradox in a certain theoretical framework as far as, at the time, that person knows it, as far as he has understood it in that moment. If there is not this sensitivity, okay. And the intuition to in what uh, direction to go, how to try to go about it, solving it, solving that paradox, and so completing, shaping to better or even to perfect, often to perfect a theoretical framework. Yeah, that's without sensitivity, it doesn't go. Problem is just sometimes sensitivity generalizes to, to the person and some misunderstandings. With other people and other people catalogize them in a certain way and say yeah, I don't I think but you say this crazy girl. so I'm just just they they oh, they are they hurt their heat very badly the other thing is the other level of complexity um, of, of possible problems with uh, researchers and the research activity itself is 
when uh, after like 10 years of activity just uh, one has managed to, to do, do great things, cool things. Maybe he also had gratification from this. Just uh, didn't uh, become a successful person. Just uh, it's uh, his completed researchers, researchers, research results just seem to 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 have failed to contribute to society. It's it's he maybe even wasn't able to uh, get really lots of money from it or so, even if the contribution was worth of of uh, like becoming at least a millionaire even if maybe to them just give uh, the greatest percentage of this money uh, or into an investment for further research or in charity it depends it's not my fit now I have already said some things I have introduced some topics it's time to say uh, time to as to say now, to, it's time to um, how is it? Um, assert, assert now, to warn now that uh, clearly words are at my, my field. I can clearly, as, as a researcher in exact uh, applied sciences, the algorithmics, mathematics, software development, more or less. Uh, concentrating on a certain topic uh, here the words don't suffice they can convey some ideas uh, usually these people are able to express themselves very simply and clearly about a certain topic that, that they, they have a deep understanding of the deeper the better they can reformulate it but words are just not 